With so much taxpayer money going to boost our economy, it is important to know if those dollars are going to where they're supposed to. Our Alicia Nieves has the new calls for transparency when it comes to how this money's being spent. Roughly half of the $2 trillion stimulus package passed by Congress in the CARES Act has gone to bailing out small businesses and major industries. Most of that money has been tied to some accountability, telling companies what they can and cannot spend the money on. But experts say transparency for taxpayers is still an issue. The biggest bailout in U.S. history deserves the most transparency in U.S. history. RJ Cross is with the U.S. Public Interest Research Group. It's a watchdog agency calling for the Federal Reserve to have public disclosure online and in real time of the names of every corporation getting aid and how much these corporations are getting, something the Fed is currently not required to do. The Federal Reserve has long been hesitant to disclose the names and specific identities of what companies are receiving assistance. And maybe that's been okay in the past, but right now it's definitely not going to be enough. The call for increased transparency stems from an increased risk the Fed is taking on. The Federal Reserve is doing things that it's never had to do before, like lending to small and mid-sized businesses and buying riskier classes of corporate debt. The stuff it didn't even do in 2008. It's just it's a risky move. The debt the Fed is assuming in this bailout has a higher risk of default, a higher chance essentially that it's not going to get back the money it's lending. If we end up having made a mist by allowing all of this money to go to corporations who might not pay back those loans, taxpayers could be held accountable and on the hook for hundreds of billions of dollars. And that's the purpose, the crux of why we're doing this story, because the reality is people are so focused on their own situation right now, and they're thinking about the recovery, hoping it comes soon, but what happens when we have a recovery and then, oh wait, you're gonna get slammed with taxes now because we have to pay back now all this money that was lent out and potentially money that was lent out that can never be paid back. We need to help people, not put them on the hook for bailouts that hopefully work. There is no guarantee transparency will reduce the risk in this bailout, but it will allow anyone this time around to know what is happening with taxpayer dollars in real time. I'm Alicia Nieves reporting.